I'll just drain the oil out of primary chain case. I'm not sure why I guess I need to take this off as well, the uh, footrest. Screws are surprisingly short. I guess it worked well so far, I guess. Oh. Oh, why is that not coming off? Ah, there's a strut down the back here as well, which comes onto this, but it's all right. I don't know whether this is a standard part. I'm, I have to look on the parts list, but I'm guessing that it isn't. But it looks quite well engineered, quite strong. So this is very sloppy, or quite sloppy. Actually, this one's not too bad. It must be the one on the other side that's quite loose. Okay, a nylon nut. A lot of these on this bike. So it does seem to have been put together as a sort of pseudo MX. And uh, quite... Um, competently done, I would say. So, uh, how's this come out? I think I need to. Oh, there we go. I think it'd be better if this tube had some kind of thread cut on it and uh, some sort of lock nut. I guess either side would be it would be good. So, it seems a bit crude at the minute. A bit hit and miss. Good. Yeah, this bit isn't going to work in these ones. Need a longer, thinner bit. Yeah, this one should do. No, that's not good. So just this sticky one up top here, which has got a slightly damaged head. I'm worried the bike's going to fall over. No. So yeah, this is just coming out before it gets a chance to grip it properly. I'm not sure this will fit in. She's so badly damaged. This one actually fit in properly. Yeah, it's not the best bit. Give it one more try with this. No. I don't think this is going to fit in without hitting the case. I 
need a longer. Right. This, uh, I have to find another adapter, which I think will take this. Yes, it will. So maybe I can try this bit again. has gone. Excellent. Oh dear, yeah, that, that head is really bad. Right, so are these the same length? Those are the same length. That's the same length. That's the same length. I'm not sure they should be the same length, but uh, so it looks as if they are. Last one. Yep, all the same length. At least that uh, saves having to keep them all carefully in the right places. easier to take the brake pedal off Oops. before I put it back on. So that looks pretty clean. And there's no gasket, interestingly. Just silicon on the seal, on the joint. The uh, breather here, I say I stuck it in with some um, Loctite 5910. And it's okay, I mean, it's steady, not poking through too far. But I guess I could have put a bit of extra silicon around the inside. Don't want to risk it falling off though and dropping into the case. A lot of sludge in the bottom. I wonder about the level screw. Because it seems, the level screw seems very close to the, uh, the drain in terms of the level, but um, obviously on the inside, there's this boss in the casting. So the level is actually up here. So that makes more sense now. Yeah, I haven't seen these um, plugs before. And that's the one I'm used to with the just a plain alloy die casting. This one has this insert pressed into it, which I think is to stop the oil splashing out the, the breather because they all have a little hole in them. Well, at least most of them do, that one doesn't. This one does. So I'm assuming that's just to stop oil splashing out of the, uh, the breather hole. A few nicks here. Actually, Z, has that been deliberately marked on? Doesn't look like a rock has scraped it. It's like a deliberate mark. Oh, ZX. Is that ZX? Yeah, interesting. Know. Upside down in. Otherwise, it seems pretty sound. Right. So why is it sticking? Let's try the clutch. So it does lift off. Well, I guess the plates are just sticking. Obviously, the standard steel plate, not one of the alloy aftermarket ones. I had an alloy clutch in my A65, it's a, an SRM one, which had extra springs as well. I think it was three springs originally, but it was up to four, and it was much better. It had a 
had a better bearing, sort of thrust bearing, roller bearing in the uh, in the cover, in the alloy cover. And the whole thing was just uh, much more sort of stiff and a known quantity in terms of the clutch operation rather than the floppy bit of steel pressing. So just get somewhere safe to put these parts. I wonder if I should be making note of the position. No, I don't think it really matters. Okay. So can I get these plates out? Yeah, well, these spots don't immediately look uh, too heavily battered about. Maybe I noticed on here, which I'm not used to from my C15 days, is the breather here. So there's a gauze hole through to the main crankcase. Um, it says in the manual that the, the there's a deliberate breather from the crankcase into the primary chain case so that oil mist will come across and uh, maintain the level in the primary chain case and there's a way for it to go back through and even itself out. So that's a neat idea and that was a, a mod on sitting on the A65 um, to drill some holes through the, the crankcase at the right level to sort of automatically let the primary chain case find its own level. Uh, right, let's get these plates out. Use a magnet to get these out. Oh, yes, they're coming out together. No, they're not actually stuck. In fact, it looks fine. I was expecting to find it all uh, sort of gummed up and maybe dry, but they look absolutely fine. So maybe the actuator, I don't know if I saw the actuator working, didn't we? It says it's not that. Maybe I'm just not used to B50 clutch. Maybe they're just very heavy and a bit of drag after all these years. But uh, that looks really fine. That's quite pleasing. I'll um, clean them all up anyway. And it's interesting to see what's in here. Is that one going to come in? Oh, yes. Oop. That's the last one. Or last pair, indeed. Oh, that's interesting. So that... Uh, inner friction plate runs on this basket which has um, got holes in the back. Some sign there that the, the friction pads have been uh, resting. Uh, in fact, yeah, you can see the uh, on this friction plate you can see the circles where they've been resting on the uh, back of that basket, clutch basket. I wonder, I'm going to have to look it up in the book and just check that this is actually correct, whether that should be against the back. I guess it should. Can't see any other way of doing it. Now that these are out, a couple of things strike me. One is that there's some a dark deposit around here is either just sludge that's sort of accumulated or it could be the uh, the rubber cushions drop into bits it might be worth checking that these screw heads look a bit damaged certainly that one does so it's obviously been out before 
probably several times of course over the years. Looking at the basket, these there is some evidence of wear on these slots. You can see where these tangs have been rattling and uh, taking up the load, but I don't think it's unacceptable. Yeah, it looks okay, Rennie. Really. I'll check them all carefully, but it um, doesn't look as if it's sort of out of acceptable limits. And the, uh, the hub, there's virtually no evidence of any marking at all from the plates. So yeah, I think a clean up and reassembly should be fine. Yeah, that operating rod it certainly moves. Yeah, I need to decide perhaps whether to take this off. I think I might as well have got this far. Just check out the state of the rubbers. I might as well do that now. See whether this will work. Yes. There you go. Who needs a special tool? Well, apart from an impact wrench, of course. Is there a Woodruff key? No. Oops. Ah, rubbers. So yeah, the rubbers are pretty shot. That one just dropped out completely. Yeah, and the others, well, they're hopeless really. Very hard. Just get this. Oops. Yeah, I mean, these are useless. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad I took it off. So these rubbers are just dropping out. They're all uh, perished or degraded with the age and in the oil, I guess. So I've got the pleasure of fitting some new ones, which is always a challenge. Yeah, these are hopeless. Good. Right, so I need some rubbers. Need a, and maybe I need a gasket, or maybe not, seeing as the other guy didn't use one. There's this uh, blue silicon. Yeah, so that black gunge was indeed the. Uh, the remains of the rubber cushions. Yeah, no horrors really in here. All the rolls are there, which is always a good sign. Uh, yeah, just a general cleaner. Check the thickness of the friction plates, but um, otherwise it can just go back together. 